going on everybody it's your boy wavy stay wavy tv subscribe thumbs up that motherfucking video this video is about your boy takashi 69 so i got some breaking news for y'all man the king of new york takashi 69 will be out of jail in 30 days which pretty much means that he is going to be released from jail before the end of the year before 2020 and uh i want to know what you guys think about this so make sure y'all leave a comment after this video but uh my thoughts are this man um i just find it interesting that takashi 69 is able to go home to his family um after serving like probably close to a year in jail um and everybody that he snitched on is in jail for multiple years and you know takashi 69 gets to be released for pretty much telling on everybody pretty much you know coughing up information that the feds wanted and to be honest with you guys um i've come to the final conclusion that takashi 69 has been working with the police before he even got into the rap game um i believe that takashi 69 is an industry plant i believe that he was placed in the rap game by the feds and i think that the police wanted to use takashi 69 as an example of what they want uh you know the next generation of rappers to do when they when they blow up um you look at takashi 69 right so he came on to the scene um and he got attention immediately because of his rainbow hair and obviously his face tattoos right so after that first song blew up you know he started hanging around shoddy who is a blood gang member and then we started to see Takashi 69 shout out Treyway and all of his songs, Treyway, Treyway. And then Takashi 69 started claiming to be a blood. And you know, that was extortion, but I honestly believe that it was a plot the whole time. Um, I believe that the feds uh planned this with Takashi 69. I think this was an ultimate plan by the elite to pretty much try to get rappers to look at this as the new norm snitching you know uh you know coming out being a gang member because when you really think about it everything takashi 69 everything that he did to place himself in jail was to support his family it was to become successful become a millionaire be able to take care of his daughter and ultimately you know make a name for himself and it worked you know today we're living in the social media era and the easiest way to get success and fame and money is to do stupid shit. You know, put yourself out there being ignorant, being stupid, not caring about your actions, not caring about the repercussions of your actions. And that's exactly what 6ix9ine did. Um, you know, while he was, you know, having songs on the Billboard charts, I think he went like five for five on the Billboard charts. Um, he pretty much was telling the world that he was this big gangster, that he was a blood, that, that, that he wanted people to test this gangster. Um, you know, he was antagonizing Trippy Red, Chief Keef, uh, Kodak Black. He was antagonizing anybody that, you know, said something negative about him. I mean, he even went as far as to, um, excuse me, I farted. He even went as far as to, you know, pull up to Chief Keef's hometown in O Block and he actually went to Chief Keef's neighborhood that he grew up in, um, Old Block, stood outside, was basically saying, where's everybody at? Where's all the gangsters at? And he left, you know, but while he was doing this, um, he had police with him, he had security with him, which is why I believe that this was a ploy by the feds the whole time because I don't think anybody in their right mind would have the audacity to do the things that Takashi 69 was doing unless he unless you're either suicidal <laughs> because I feel like any other rapper that's black if they would have did something like that they would have been dead by now okay but Takashi 69 played it smart he always had security with him always had police with him um you know there's rumors that when he was in Chicago you know even little Reese little Reese came out and said that Takashi 69 had police and security with him from the moment that he landed at the airport in Chicago. Okay? So this was a setup from the jump. And I think that a lot of rappers um, are going to follow in Takashi 69's footsteps. You're gonna see a lot of rappers do the same thing that he did to gain attention and gain fame on Instagram. And you know, when shit hits the fan and they get involved in legal activity, 
you know, all they're going to do is tell. They're going to tell on everybody. They're not going to give a fuck. And they're going to continue to live their life while the people that they were committing crimes with has to go to jail for multiple years. Okay. Now, another thing that's interesting to me is why is Takashi 69 so comfortable getting out of jail without protective custody? Because police are going to protect him. He's going to have the same security that he had before he went to jail in the first place. And he's going to have the same police officers that are going to be following him when he gets out of jail. I'm telling you guys, okay? Any other rapper in this situation would have been dead before they even got in jail. Any rapper going around antagonizing Chief Keef, antagonizing Tato, antagonizing Trippy Red, antagonizing all of these people. He was even antagonizing gang members in Los Angeles. What person in their right mind would feel comfortable going all around the world antagonizing people like that with no repercussions? You have to be out your fucking mind, which makes me believe that he's working with the feds. He's connected with the feds. This has been a plan from the start. And this is an agenda that's being forced into hip hop, showing people, look, we want you guys to go out there, act tough, uh, beef with everybody, go to their hometown, make them look soft. I mean, he even went as far as to hire somebody to shoot at Chief Keef. You know, I don't believe he actually tried to kill him, but I think he really just wanted to scare him. And, you know, it didn't work, obviously, because he got caught. But I just think that this is an agenda uh, by the feds, by the elite, by the powers that be in hip hop that own all these big ass record labels. And I think we're going to see a lot of rappers in the future do the same stupid shit that Takashi 6 9 did. And, uh, you know, when he gets out of jail, man, it's going to be interesting to see how hip hop reacts to it, because I honestly believe that when he gets out of jail, he's still going to make hits. I think people are still going to support his music. Um, obviously, he's not going to be able to tour because it'll just be too dangerous for the venue. So, you know, if he does go on tour, he's probably only going to be able to go on tour probably overseas or probably you know, in, in specific cities where it's just not too many enemies because I just don't see nobody booking this guy, okay? <laughs> it's too dangerous, but the fact of the matter is he could easily just put out music, get paid for the music. He could put out merch, a clothing line. You know, he could go into acting. There's so many things that Takashi 6 9 could do because at the end of the day, he has a big brand. He has a shit ton of followers on Instagram. He can get paid millions of dollars just by posting products, okay? So let's not act like when Takashi 6 9 gets out of jail that nobody's gonna support him. If you think that's the case, you're stupid, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if he got out of jail and the first week he puts out a song that's on the top 10 billboard charts because he has so much hype and attention behind his name. His name is so viral that, you know, it, that's just how it is, man. So let me know what you guys think. Um, it's your boy, Wavy. I'm out this bitch. Skr